Welcome friends and viewers. Do you know that cyber terrorism is becoming more and more prominent on social media today? As the internet becomes more widespread in our daily lives, many individuals and groups can use the anonymity provided by cyberspace to threaten us, our families, our children, our citizens, our communities and even the entire nation. So friends, today I, Hemant Batra, public policy tutor and talker, shall be sharing my thoughts on cyber terrorism. So keep watching this video ahead. These anonymous cyberspace attackers are not scared to attack and harm us because they think they cannot be captured by law as we do not know their exact physical locations. For terrorists, cyber-based attacks have definite advantage over physical attacks. They can be conducted remotely, anonymously and relatively cheaply. And, and, and they do not require you know, significant investment in weapons uh, or you know, explosives and, and, and recruitment of personnel. Ordinarily, cyber terrorism and internet vandalism means using and, and, and employing the internet to carry out violent, vicious, brutal and sadistic attacks of threat, intimidation, killings or, or causing bodily or mental injury and, and harm to the victims to, to perhaps achieve political or ideological gains. It also now and then implies as an act of internet terrorism whereby terrorist activities including acts of deliberate large-scale disruption of computer networks especially of personal computers attached to the internet are attacked using tools such as uh, well you know computer viruses computer worms phishing and other malicious software and Yes, hardware methods and, and even programming scripts. Cyber terrorism can be global, national, like domestic, local or, or political. However, the underlying action in all these situation is a mixed pattern of terrorist act, internet and computer these three things put together. Under the Indian legal regime, there is a specific substantive provision of the law dealing with cyber terrorism. Section 66 F of the Information Technology Act defines what constitutes cyber terrorism and affirms it as a serious criminal offense. It says that whoever with intent to threaten the unity, integrity, security or sovereignty, sovereignty of India or to strike terror, uh, you know, in, in the people or, or any section of the people using computer resource, contaminating a computer and by such conduct, you know, if, if that person causes or is likely to co cause death or injuries to person person or persons or, or damage to or, or cause destruction of property or, or disrupt supplies or services essential to the life of the community or, or you know, adversely affect the, the crucial and critical information pertaining to infrastructure or causes injury to the interests uh, of the sovereignty, integrity of India, the security of state as a whole you know, friendly relations with foreign states, public order, decency and morality or, you know, causes contempt of court, defamation or, or incitement to an offense or, or to the advantage of any foreign nation group or, or of individuals or, you know, otherwise commits the offense of cyber terrorism uh, uh, is, is, is actually, you know, can be defined as as a cyber terrorism, what I just mentioned. Well, whoever commits or conspires to carry out terrorism shall 
that act shall be punishable with the imprisonment which may extend to imprisonment for life. So the definition given under the law is very comprehensive and, and the, the punishment is severe, imprisonment for life. Dependency on the internet is increasing, expanding day by day across the globe, generating interest in the international cyber terror uh, and, and giving them a ground to, to attack the nations in a very widespread and profound manner. The cyber terrorism is likely to increase and we need to counter that effectively and efficiently. Well, that is all for today. Next time I will do another video talk on the topic of your interest. In, in, in the meantime, I would request you to subscribe to this YouTube channel known as ITV Mentor Talk and you know press the bell icon for notifications. See you next time. Thank you.